for many decades to come uh, because they're not going to turn those trucks loose with absolutely no one in them. The other thing is that the delivery process, and if you, for the guys and the women out there that drive these uh, big rigs, the 18 wheelers, they know confidently no computer is going to drive down Montano and turn right on 2nd Street. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. it's just not going to happen. <laughs> That's so. true. I saw some driving to the studio today, big semis right on Montano. Um, what percentage of our goods are delivered here in the United States by the trucking industry? Uh, unless you have a rail at the back of your grocery store, about 90% of everything that's in your house, in your business, is on a truck. And that's how it got here. And so the trucking industry is vital to the economy. Um, and it's somewhat forgotten at times how uh, we impact the economy. And so that, to bring that up is, is uh, and Senator White and I have talked about this at length, Whenever you mess with the fuel prices, okay, that has a direct impact on every human in the continental United States because that fuel price will ultimately end up with you and I. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just the trucker that pays for it. It's not just um, one simple company paying for it. Every one of us, at the end of the day, it flows downhill in a tax base. Um, is the tax necessary? Absolutely. because. Uh, the infrastructure is based on mileage. On, on the user. Who's on the user. The highways are going to be for the highways. And so we have to be smart enough to understand that we have to pay for what we use. Yes. Okay. And, in other words, it's not big government trying to put their thumb on us. It's a user fee at the end of the day if it's administered properly. In other words, sure. what I mean by that is that if you have tax that goes to a road fund, it should go to a road fund. It shouldn't be diverted to different projects. And that's where we differ with uh, whenever they start talking about tax increases and moving them around. And that's state or federal. Correct. I might want to point that out. How are our roads? Uh, I can tell you right now, Secretary Tom Church does probably one of the most fantastic jobs with the budget that he has, him and his staff, um, uh, Mike Sandoval and Franklin Garcia and, and that crew, they do an absolutely fantastic job with the budget that they have. Uh, a lot of people will complain about the roads, but if they knew what these guys had to work with, um, mm -hmm. in an article that I wrote not long ago, I likened it to, to someone trying to put out a 100-acre forest fire with one pump truck. Is is the same. That's what we're doing here. And that's what we're trying sure. to do here. Sure. But the solution would be just, I guess, raising t the gas tax, but keeping it to the road fund. Yes, and that's, that's and and, okay. and we're in and we're in favor of that. I mean, it's just like that's where we do our business is on the on you the New Mexico highways, absolutely. And uh, a lot of people and you and, and I, who drive on the highways, don't realize that we pay an extra price in tire cost or rim cost or front end alignments. Shock absorbers. That's true. That's true. It, 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 it does. It, it affects every person that, that operates on the highway, not, again, not just the trucking companies. And so it, it's, very, uh, it's very informative. Thanks, John. Thanks for giving me that update. Let's get back to our spirit ride um, that's happening here in New Mexico in July. Yes. And tell me a little bit about that. Is this the Pony Express move over? The spirit ride is coming through. This is an absolutely fantastic uh, thing that Toe Man Magazine out of New York has, has put together. And he's doing it voluntarily. And he's got, they hand painted this casket and they're passing it through 250 cities in, a, in kind of a zigzag fashion to... Like Roberts, this is Roberts, the photo of Robert's casket or it's just the idea no, of this anybody? No, this is a, uh, a specialized casket that is oh. that is for the spirit ride. Okay. Okay, and they have a replica on it on the billboard, but it's not okay. it's not Bobby's. Uh, but it is meant to be a an awareness program all the states, all 50 states, because we lose three to six tow truck drivers a week in this continental United States. Uh, due to uh, highway accidents on the side of the road. 
So they want to raise the level of awareness to the move over law. And we especially, because we're just now getting this law, we need the awareness to be three times higher than it is. And that's why uh, Bobby's, oh, Bobby's mom, Linda, has, has taken it upon herself to be the champion for the entire state for that law. And one of the legislators nicknamed it Bobby's Law. And we're actually, uh, Senator White and Representative Bobby Gonzalez and myself are going to try to make a memorial to make that legitimately Bobby's Law. Mm -hmm. Here in New Mexico, thank you. So this this casca is going to drive through how many states and how many miles? It's going to go through every state. Every it's to, state? It's going to go through every state. It's going to go, uh, actually it's coming here on July 18th and 19th and you'll see a, uh, a procession from Tucumcari uh, where uh, they're going to bring it from Tucumcari obviously, that's where the accident happened. And into Moriarty, and I think uh, the towing company uh, Traverse is, uh, is uh, Travers is going to bring it to Moriarty. Then Linda's going to have Bobby's truck pick it up and bring it in. And we've made arrangements at the Balloon Fiesta Park mm -hmm. to uh, congregate to have the uh, the transfer. And so at that point, I'm not Ooh, sure. Transfer if it's, to another trucking company to take it to Colorado. We or believe, areas? yeah. I think it's. Uh, okay. At first, I thought it's going to Colorado, but I think there's been a change of plans. It may be going to Texas next. Okay. And like I said, it's kind of sure. a, a zigzag. And, and what are the dates at Balloon Fiesta Park uh, for this transfer? Uh, we will be at Balloon Fiesta Park on July 19th. July 19th, but we're starting around to uh, transfer probably is going to happen in, on the 18th. On the 18th yes. in Tucum Carry to Bobby's. Was his all right towing? Yes, yes. That was the right. transfer there. And then uh, and they'll they'll have a ceremony there. Each state as it transfers into each state there there will be a ceremony. And here we've, we've uh, asked the governor to come. Uh, Senator White has said he would speak. Uh, Representative Gonzalez said he would speak. And so that event will be at the East parking lot at the Balloon Fiesta on the 19th. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bobby's mom, Linda. Thank you, Senator White, Representative Gonzalez, and the That's New Mexico trucking industry, um, and this TV station for making people more aware and uh, as some people say, it's just common sense. When you see something on the side of the road, slow down and move over. Save sad, a life. Save a life, save your own life, save somebody else's. And sad, we have to have a law <laughs> to do this. Well, one of the things is that if you do have an issue with your vehicle, uh, if it's a flat tire, drive it to the next exit and get all the way off. And will you destroy the tire? Yes. Will you destroy the rim? Yes. But the one thing that you will be sure of, you're safer. Big tip. Thank you. You shared that with me as well. Makes a lot of sense. We always say just move over. I was telling you, you always told my son, Kenneth, move way, way, way over. But you're giving me one more step. Don't just move off the highway. Drive off to that next exit. Ruin yeah. that rim, ruin that tire, but save your life. That's absolutely true. Thanks, Johnny Johnson, for being a part of our program today. Thanks for watching. Make it a great week with your family. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. I joined. I joined, too. I joined State Employees Credit Union, and I'm not a state employee. Get the most out of your hard-earned money with low loan rates and monthly rewards. I get face-to-face -face personal attention. Experience a personal approach to your finances. Join happiness. Join local. Join convenience. Join the state ECU. Because together we build futures. If you had something, something that you were given, something you loved, something that others wanted so badly but were denied it, something that you used and relied on every single day. If you had something special, something beautiful, something powerful, if you had something absolutely essential to securing your health, happiness, and safety, if you treasured something so much that you were willing to die for that something, if you knew that others already had, and if someone had given you a document that protected that something, 
Wouldn't you take the time to read it? Issues and Answers with Diane Kinderwater is presented as a public service to New Mexicans by State Employees Credit Union, which has proudly been serving the families in New Mexico locally and abroad since 1958. State Employees Credit Union is ready to help you and your family with all your financial goals and is the exclusive sponsor of Issues and Answers with Diane Kinderwater in order to inform, educate, and better the lives of New Mexicans. To comment on today's program or to purchase a DVD copy of any issues and answers program visit sunbroadcasting.org or call us at 505-345-1991